The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is offering the people of Benton Harbor cases of bottled water, blood tests for kids, and even home inspections. Now, it's all because of high levels of lead that have been found in the city's water. Advocates say that they have been telling officials about their unsafe drinking water for years. As our Michael Martin reports, they say it took the EPA finally intervening to get state officials to act. For the people living here in Benton Harbor, they say they've been dealing with dirty tap water, unsafe to drink or to cook with for years. But it's only been in recent months that we've started to see any real action on a state or local level. But now community activists say they want to see all of the city's lead pipes replaced within the next year. We never thought, you know, that, that it would take this long, three whole years. Back on the last day of September, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services began distributing bottled water and offering blood tests for children in Benton Harbor after acknowledging that high lead levels were detected in the city's water. Some residents waiting an hour in line Tuesday to get their supply. Go. How long has this been a situation where you guys have been worried about your water? Forever. Director of the department, Elizabeth Hurdle, spoke to Fox 17 Tuesday, saying they will continue to offer these resources until the situation is resolved. People can bathe in it. Uh, we advise that they don't drink it or cook with it uh, or use it to brush their teeth. As long as they're not ingesting it uh, right now, um, that's, what we're, that's what we're advising. But for Reverend Edward Pinckney, president and chairman of the Benton Harbor Community Water Council, these efforts are simply a bandage on the problem and coming three years later than they should have. Unsafe not only to drink, but to brush your teeth, to cook, uh, um, to bathe in, and also baby formers. You can't make baby formers with this water. He says their focus on the city's water quality began back in 2018, when one of the council members had a daughter visiting from out of state. Her daughter came from Texas and wanted to take a bath. And when she, you know, filled the tub up, it was full of uh, this brown, yellow, it looked like little particles was in the water. With an invaluable outsider's perspective, she brought her concerns about the water to Reverend Pinkley, who, after trying to approach local officials, helped send out the sample to University of Michigan's biological lab. And they examined it, and it came out to be more than 300 parts per, me, per billion. And uh, from there, we decided that we had to do something. So we went to work. Their community action group began working with the Natural Resources Defense Council. The state agency wasn't really responding to the fact that people were drinking lead contaminated water. They were really focused on tweaking the chemicals at the treatment plant to see if they could keep the amount of lead down that was being released into the water, and they weren't. After an initial roundtable with officials from the EPA went nowhere, the groups, along with over a dozen others, filed an emergency petition with the agency on September 9th. Since the petition was filed with EPA, the state has started taking action. It has been very piecemeal. It hasn't been a comprehensive response. We think they are moving in the right direction, but they still have not declared that the water in the city of Benton Harbor is unsafe. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has said she would allocate $20 million over the next five years to remove and replace lead lines, but advocates on the ground say that is too long to wait. They say the bottled water sites should continue indefinitely. The Army Corps of Engineers should come in and replace all of the city's lead pipes within a year, and the state should officially declare their water unsafe. And the highest levels that have been found so far are 889 parts per billion. That is like 60 times above this federal trigger for action. And the federal trigger is not safe. No amount of lead in our drinking water is safe. For them and their efforts, this isn't about offering temporary resources out of an abundance of caution, but rather a seriously dangerous situation that could easily lead to their neighbors dying. This is not as bad. How could he deny that? There's no way you're going to deny that. I don't care how hard you try, you're not going to deny this. And we watched it come out of there. You filmed it coming out of there. And the camera's not going to lie. 
Now for more information on when and where those water bottle pickups are happening next and for the current status of where things stand in terms of replacing the pipes within the city limits, you can check out our web article up now. For now, though, in Benton Harbor, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. Michael, thank you. Unfortunately, this is not a news story here in Michigan. In the last decade, as we've reported, Flint also made national headlines for elevated lead levels in the city's water as well. That problem was ultimately linked back to 2014. That's when officials switched the water source to the Flint River. That water was not treated properly and ended up eroding the city's aging pipes. Thousands of residents, including children, consumed that lead-tainted water for more than a year before an advisory was finally issued. It took years and millions Millions of dollars to replace more than 10,000 water service lines in the city. According to city officials, testing has now shown that water quality has stabilized.